friends! Today I'm going to be exploring Minecraft 1.5 for the first time. If you're new here, hi, I'm Dee, and I started playing Minecraft in 1.19. Now that we've had the 15th birthday of Minecraft, I'm going back and playing through the early versions to experience the nostalgia that so many of you have for this game. Let's get into it! Step 1. I'm going to have to build another nether portal. This one is going to be pretty quick and straightforward, hopefully. Ooh, look at those particles. They're like a little transparent. I don't think they've always looked like that. All right, so 1.5 was the redstone update where we got things like hoppers and comparators and quartz. Still no observers, but today's objective is to read a hopper minecart with a comparator. Ooh, there's a desert right there. Let's go see if we can... Let's go see if there's like a desert village or something. <gasps> Did you see that, you guys? Let's just let's just look at it one more time. We go drag. Heck yeah, we've been waiting. We have been waiting for this bit of an update for like forever. Yeah, it's been painful. I feel like I should probably find some sheep before we go off into the desert. Some sheep, maybe some cows as well, or pigs or something. Were giant oak trees a thing before this? Or are these the first time we have giant oak trees? So that looked like maybe a sheep leg? Yeah. Hi, sheeps. My condolences or apologies or something, but I need, I need wool. What I would love is to find a village here somewhere in the desert because I believe village deserts always spawn with blacksmiths and if we could get a little iron that way that would be awesome. I think we're gonna shoot for portal construction like last episode. Okay so yeah that is solid jungle. I haven't spotted any lava. Oh and there goes the sun. There goes the sun, do 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 do. Okay, I'm gonna stop with that joke now. Zoom, look at it, look at it. It's amazing and beautiful. And we're back at the taiga and forest. Alrighty, well, I feel like west or maybe a little southwest might be a good direction to head. And if we can spot any critters to give us actual food, that would be really helpful. There we go. Ooh, there's coal. Hello, iron. How nice of you to stop by. I'm gonna need lots of you today. And that, my friends, is probably the most you'll ever see me caving. That's probably a lie, but you know. Unfortunately, we still gotta murder some piggies. Oh my good gravy. There we go. You know, I think that it is really neat that even in the current game, the early game is still essentially the same. And I mean, you can play the early game in a lot of different ways, too. It doesn't have to be played identically, but it still has all the same elements and a lot of the same feelings. I would like to, con to continue. Ooh, here's a plane. Awesome. Oof. Oh, that's a villager. It's a zombie villager. Can we hear zombie villagers yet? I don't think we can. Ooh, he dropped a piece of iron. How lucky. The tiny, tiny little desert here. Amazing. Ooh, and a swamp. Ooh, you know, I haven't lived around a swamp yet. If we could only spot some lava nearby, I would totally just settle down at the swamp. Here's the thing, at the end of the day, we're... S Ooh, oh, there's a witch hut. What if? What if we lived in the witch hut? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set down the bed, like, here, and sleep, and then we're gonna go take over the witch hut. I don't know about you all, but I am definitely getting full swing into spooky season. Though, this is honestly perfect. Is there just not a witch at this witch hut? Doesn't seem to be. Ooh, look at the cauldron! I don't think we've made cauldrons 
in this world or like in this series yet. They look really, really cool. I am definitely. Oh, look at the little flower pot too. I forgot to make flower pots last episode. I'm so interested as to why there is not a witch here. You know what? At the end of the day, if I don't have to fight her, I'm not going to complain too hard. And look, we already have some resident cows. And look at the lily pads! Oh, they're so cute! I did not take time to properly appreciate these in the last episode. They're adorable! I love them! I do like the fact that, like, Minecraft has been updated texture-wise to not be quite so pixely looking. But I do have to say that I, I'm enjoying the textures. I didn't think I was going to, and I do still hate the netherrack texture, like any sane person. Um, but I do actually really like how old Minecraft looks after having spent a bit of time here. Now I guess the next thing is to get a food source. Yeah, I'm talking about you, buddy. Look at that generation. Now that we've got a few things planted, the next thing I'm gonna do is make ourselves a little mine shaft. And I think we will make the entrance directly underneath, I think. Great. We should light up our island too. That's important. Ooh, there's some iron already, perfect. I also need to find lava, so that's one of the things that we're going to be digging for down underneath our witch hut. Okay, so we have a little room down here at bedrock, which is awesome. And if my math is mathing correctly, I think we're going to need at least 16 iron. But that is a good set of resources to have. And we have... 22 iron at the moment. We still need to find lava though. That's where that's where I'm gonna end up mining a bunch is just to get more lava, which is a little ridiculous. Ooh, we do have a biome indicator in our F3 menu. Look at that, it says swampland. That's so cool. Awesome. There we go. Now we have a cute little lily pad bridge. Amazing. Okay. I am really in love with this little place that we're settling down in right now. It's really interesting because we've had such different games each time where we've settled down in super different locations and I just, I'm enjoying this series a lot, basically. All right, from here, I'm gonna do a little bit of speed mining, I think. Let's see if I can find any lava and see just kind of how much I get in an hour or so of mining. So. I will bring you all back in a little bit. I will also keep periodically coming up here and farming and all those good things. And I'll see you in a little bit. And this seems like a good time to go about reading your comments from the last episode. Broken Fret says, Unironically, I miss the massive oceans. Especially now that we have more underwater stuff with shipwrecks, sunken cities, guardian temples, and coral reefs. This sounds amazing. I want giant oceans filled with all the new ocean stuff. This literally sounds perfect. User CD47Art said, I think it's pretty close to the versions that I ended up playing both on Xbox 360 and the old Pocket Edition, which were some of the versions I played the most on. I was stuck on TU11 for the Xbox, which actually might have been even earlier than this, or like a weird combo of versions because there wasn't any other wood types, but there were things like trading and such in that version. Very weird, but the castle they built for showing off all the mechanics of the game was beautiful. Pocket Edition was a lot of versions, also not a one-to-one -to, -one to any of the Java ones, but probably the one I usually played was around 1.4. The nether wasn't a thing because of limitations, so there was a nether core thing that brought a piece of the nether to the overworld, but I never figured that out as a kid. That and things like blue roses, which were and still are the prettiest flower the game had, and might be why I really like the cornflowers now. And user Apteryx Drake said, Your loading error in the ocean reminded me of a thing we used to do before spectator mode. 
there was this glitch where if you could mash your character's head into a wall, you'd be able to see the caves around you for a moment. I believe you could do it by riding a minecart through a one block high gap or some kind of redstone mechanism with a piston. You did take damage. And the glitch you'd see looked just like that low to error, though you only saw it for a moment. Also, if it's any consolation, I used to get freaked out by those errors and wouldn't walk my character on them either. I believe you wouldn't fall in, but I was cautious and vaguely superstitious about it. You know, tempting fate and all that. So, I didn't. Alright, well, we are in good shape. I think we're ready to move on to the next stage of this operation. I have clearly been decorating. Um... <laughs> It's such a cute little area, and I'm, like, actually really, really in love with all of this, so can you blame me? First, I want to see if I can put water in the cauldron. I can? Oh, it's so nice. Next, let's see. Where did I stash them? I have found lava, and I've also found diamonds. So... It makes sense to just go ahead and do a diamond pick and pick up the obsidian that way. I have found lava down here. It's a little ways away. So it's definitely going to be easier to turn it into obsidian and haul it over rather than transporting it bucket by bucket. All right, we've got this lovely little lava pool. So I'll go ahead and put our water there, and we gotta light things up a little. What? Excuse me? Mm, dear. Okay. Things are a little cursed. That's fine. Alrighty, and there's our obsidian. Okay. Now we need to figure out where we're going to put this portal. And honestly... Well, if our cows weren't here, I would say yeah. the back of this... This hut would be a great spot. But we do have cows. Yeah. Hmm... Maybe it's time to move the cows, which does mean going and facing this skeleton. He didn't even drop anything for me. How rude. I'm just honestly kind of vibing. I'm really, really enjoying this particular world and this particular playthrough. Like, I don't even want to go to the nether. The nether sucks. Why would I do that when I could just hang around this cute little place? Step two. We're back to my favorite place, the nether. This is our box of goodies um, that we have at the moment. So we've got more than plenty of iron for some redstone components. I don't actually know this, but I am going to guess that Quartz is going to need an iron pick. All right, I've got my iron armor. I've got some blocks and some sticks for more pickaxes and flint and steel and a crafting table. And I'm just going to go ahead and bring myself some wood as well. But I think we should be able to go to the nether now. I don't have a ton of food, but that should be enough to get me through as long as we don't have too many terrible run-ins with guests. All right. I hate the nether. Let's do this. Oh dear. They're circling already. But already we've got quartz right there. There's quartz everywhere. Oh, this is actually not going to be too difficult to get to anyways. Ooh, look at the texture. That's so interesting. I mean, this is probably enough quartz already. I literally only need like one piece. We 
can grab a couple more pieces just for safekeeping. Maybe we maybe we could even put some corpse in our house, you know? Just for funsies. Alright, and there we go. Over a stack of quartz when I only needed like one. Um, it's gonna be dark. Yep. So tis. That's okay. Well, that was remarkably easy. First, let's put the quartz blocks up and see what they look like. Oh, they look pretty close to what they are now. Those look nice. Ooh, we can't pick up the... Ooh, interesting. We can't pick up the water. Okay, I want to put the red mushroom in this window, and then we'll put a brown one in that window. I'm obsessed with this world. I genuinely kind of want to come back and just, like, live in this world from time to time. It's so pretty. Also, when does this reticle in my face go away? When do we fix that? Because it's starting to drive me a tiny bit crazy. Just a little. I don't remember. Do we have carpets yet? We are going to find out. It appears that we do not. Sad. I did want to put down like a carpet in front of the door or something like that. That's okay. Step three. Heck yeah, comparators! Okay. We have plenty of iron. We need to make a couple of redstone torches, which I think are brand new. Look at those. All right. I love this redstone torch texture. I didn't even realize it was the original one. Let's see what it looks like on the ground. Yeah, perfect, beautiful. Honestly, I don't like the new suggested experimental whatever texture. I think it looks kind of garish and like the color looks cheap. I think that's I think that's at the end of the day what it is to me. The color looks cheap, especially when you contrast it with like the warm, rich color of these redstone torches. I would like to never have the pink redstone torches. Like that's the thing. They're not they're not red redstone torches. They're pink redstone torches and I think that's a little that's a little silly. Okay, and we have plenty of stone, so we should be able to make a comparator like so, or is it the other way? I don't think it's the other way. Oh dear. Do you make a comparator with cobble? Okay. Um, not, not sure, not sure what's different. Comparator. Oh, you used three torches. Interesting. Could have sworn there was a redstone dust in there, but maybe I'm thinking about repeaters. Makes sense. It makes sense that there are three redstone torches. I probably rely on my recipe book a little too heavily. That's the lesson that we're taking away from this. There we go. There's our comparator. All right. And now we need a minecart. We need a hopper. And we'll probably need, well, we need a detector rail, actually. <sighs> How do you make detector rails? Okay, I thought it might involve gold, but it does not. So all we need is a pressure plate then. Look at those chonky pressure plates. Pressure plate. No, we don't even need sticks at all for this. Okay. Zoom, 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 zoom. Okay, yeah, we do have detector rails. Awesome. And then we need just something to put into the hopper minecart. And honestly, what better than our diamonds? Since we have those. Alright, so right here, let's go ahead and lay this out. So what we need is we need a detector rail. Ooh, look at that texture. I feel like they look ever so slightly different now. They're a little less blocky and pixely, like many things in this game. The comparator, it looks slightly different and slightly off, but I cannot put my finger on what. I think it's another, like, 
I think it's maybe another thing where it looks less pixely again. All right, and then we need to make our hopper mine cart. Excellent. And then we put that there. Let's give ourselves a little piece of redstone while we're at it. And then, ooh, look at the hopper mine cart texture. That's a really cool texture. I like how the, the hopper is kind of sitting in the mine cart. I like the way they are now, but like this is a really interesting look. It has more depth, I feel like, than current hopper mine carts do. But then all we need to do is put, <gasps> heck yeah, look at that. That is a successfully completed objective. To be fair, it was a simple one. I kind of want to see what a hopper looks like on its own. Okay, it's similar. I really, really love this gradient effect that we have going on in our different iron things. Like, it gets really light towards the top and center of the hopper and the cauldron gets lighter towards the top. I like that the current blocks have a little bit more actual detail to them, but man, this gradient is really pretty. I really, really like it. This was a really chill one, and honestly, I needed that. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and don't forget to leave some comments about your nostalgic Minecraft memories. And like and subscribe if you enjoyed our chill little swamp here as much as I did. I will see you all in the next one. Bye!